In this video, we will discuss the drawing tools in Geofence. Tap on the drawing tools icon located on the toolbar. This will display four additional drawing tools on the toolbar. These additional tools are circle, rectangle, preform polygon, and telestrate. The circle tool allows the user to draw a circle to desired radius by tapping the desired center point, then tapping the desired radius distance. The user may also add range rings from within the detail sheet of the radial menu. The rectangle allows the user to draw a rectangle to a desired area using a three-point entry on the map. This can create a square or rectangle shape based on the depth placement. Each line is 90 degrees perpendicular to the adjacent connected line. Freeform polygon allows the user to create a polyline of any number of straight segmented edges by using a multi-point selection to a desired area. Telestrate allows the user to create a free-flowing line or freehand drawing of any shape at the user's discretion. The Telestrate tool would display an additional toolbar for the user to manipulate as desired. Note, the map screen cannot be adjusted while Telestrate is activated. The user must tap on the Telestrate tool again to pause the Telestration in order to manipulate the map screen. Once adjusted, simply tap on the Telestrate tool again to continue the use of the tool. The circle, rectangle, and freeform polygon of the drawing tools share similar features, many of which can be adjusted in the exact same way. Tap on the created rectangle to access the radio menu. The rectangle tool radial menu contains the following slice options. Starting at the nine o'clock, display segment at links, measure two, create a geofence, edit, detail sheet, and delete. Tap on the detail sheet. In the details page, the user can change the rectangle's name, the center grid reference, view the area of the rectangle, set elevation, show labels and tactical overlay, change the color, adjust opacity, and add remarks specific to the shape. The user may also send and attach files to each shape. Tap the persistent back. A geofence can be added to the circle rectangle, and freeform polygon using the radial menu. Telestrate cannot be used to make a geofenced area. Note, the freeform polygon must be a closed polyline in order to create a geofence. A geofence is a digital fence on a digital map. It is used to track the entry and exit of a desired marker or user. To create a geofence around a location, tap on the geofence slice in the radial menu of the desired shape. This will display the geofence window. This allows the user to specify the configuration such as what action triggers a notification that the geofence has been breached, what markers or users to monitor what's configured, whether to create an enabled or off monitoring status and elevation. Once selecting the parameters is complete, tap OK. Now markers or other objects that generate position location information are placed in or enter and exit the geofenced area, this device will receive an alert at the bottom left corner displayed in red text. The user may tap on the alert, which will open the geofence window and center the map on the alert. To manage geofences, tap on the additional items menu and select geofence. In this window, the user may manage all created geofences that are displayed. The triangle symbols are colored to match the status of the geofence state. If they are green, then they are actively monitoring and have not been breached. If they are gray, they are not monitoring. If they are red, there is an active alert for that geofence. This allows the user to manage multiple geofences and leave some in a state of non-monitoring until needed not to overwhelm the user with unnecessary alerts. Tapping on the detail sheet on the geofence will allow the user to view the geofence window where you can turn on and off your tracking for this selected geofence. Users may use a trash can symbol to delete as well as disable monitoring or dismiss alerts. This concludes drawing tools and geofence.